you, you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Let's discover how a couple of months, but it's this, this, this enough so you can know what's up in the hood. Oh my god, this school is full of nerds. The only place to get away from all these lamos is in the courtyard. Damn, Becky, you're right. You're so smart. <sighs> Tony, shut up. Like, the only thing those nerds are good at are, like, schoolwork. And I'm failing all my classes. Being pretty and popular is a full-time job. You really failing all your classes? Why don't you get a tutor? Ew, Mikey, I'm not actually going to do all that work. I just have to get a nerd to do all my schoolwork because I can't do it all myself. That's a good idea, but no one's going to want to do that. They will if I trick them. I just have to get a nerd to think that they're popular like us, and I'll get them to do all my homework. That's a good idea, but now we got to find some geeky nerd that will do it. How about her? She's perfect. Come on. Hi, what's your name? Bernadette. Your glasses are really cute. Where'd you get them? Walmart. Anyways, I wanted to ask if you wanted to hang out with us or something. Like, we can do our homework and stuff. You'd be so cool if you did. <laughs> that would be cool. <sighs> you know that kid, Justin? I heard he's totally dating some freshman. So? And she's in the math club. Damn, I always knew he wasn't cool. Um, not to be rude or anything, Becky, but why does it matter that she Listen, is? you're cool now, so you should know that us popular kids don't hang out with freaks like her. We're better than her. And now you are too, Bernie. Anyways, I have to go. There's a science club about to end, and I gotta go throw some rocks at them. Come on. Oh, you like wrestling? Yeah, I do since I was little. Yeah, me too. I really never tell nobody, especially Becky, because she says only for little kids. Well, people make fun of it, make fun of me because of that, but I don't really care. They make fun of me anyways. Mm, so, who your favorite wrestler? Seth Rollins. How about you? Brock Lesnar. Cool. It's so great to have that dumb nerd girl around. I haven't done a single assignment this entire week. I don't know. She's pretty cool. I talked to her the other day. We have a lot of stuff in common. Oh, Mikey, how could you say that? She's not our friend. She's just here to do all our schoolwork because of all that we're failing. I would never be her friend considering she's really ugly. Though. Where's Bernie? I have math today and I need my homework. I don't know. I didn't have, I didn't see the uh, sense. She ran off. Amazing. Thank you. Don't you think she look hot, baby? No, she's not hot. She's been the same annoying nurse she's been the entire time. We shouldn't even be friends with her anymore. I got a B on my last assignment. Why are you so uptight? No one cares about this stuff except you. You can go be BFFs with a wannabe. Mikey, let's go. No! Becky, you've been bossing me around this whole relationship. We are done! You'll pay for this. How dare you? By the way, you're not even that cute. 
So now me and Becky go, um, done. Do you want to go out sometimes? Sure. Okay. Well, it happened in freshman year when I auditioned for a band. I remember walking down the street feeling confident and nervous all at the same time. They had their own studio and their own practice space. And it was so awesome to me at the time. I kept staring at the door and then I started to get nervous. My hands got sweaty and I even almost chickened out. Then I hit the buzzer to call. The door opened and I walked in. Um, excuse me. What? Um, how long have you been here? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Sammy? Mm hmm? Um, yeah? Oh, oh, my bad. Sorry. This is cool. You're last one anyway. Oh, um, awesome. Let's do it. Uh, sorry. Don't you need your glasses? No, it's cool. I, um, I just like mine. What's up, I'm Marius. My bad, I forgot I'm Shay. Um, the sub, I'm I'm Sammy. So what song you go perform? Well, um, I'm gonna do a half a cover of Colors by uh, Halsey.
Tells you, but he loves you so. He's such a mother, only smiles on her TV show. You're only happy when your sorry head is filled with dough. I hope you make it till the day you're 28 years old. You're dripping like a saturated sunrise. unfortunate that you think that my talent is overshadowed by my weight and yeah I know I need to lose a few pounds for my health but I definitely am not losing any weight to make anyone else happy with me so talk all you want but just know that I would have been a hard worker determined and a good person but I guess you only need two of those things to join this band don't you I'm mad I quit. Hold up! Hey, listen, it's cool if you guys don't want me in your band. Hey, so I can't tell you that I quit my band. And he always been like that. I just got tired of it. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't know what to say, that's good for you, um... Bro, all auditions, you killed it all, I, you know. I just came to tell you that I'm looking for a new band. I was hoping you'd be in the band too. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, that, that sounds really cool. You got any place for practice at? Um, yeah, my mom's garage. Alright, we'll go do it. Cool. So that's it. I never really cared about my weight when it came to my talents as a musician. I cared about my health and how it affected me physically, but that's it. I'll never let anyone judge my talents on, or my personality based on my looks. So I guess if there's one thing I had to say to sum this whole thing up, it's if someone acts like a butt face and judges you based on what you look like, forget them and move on. 
You got better things to do than worry about what they think. Welcome to Hardcover News. Today we'll be discussing the progress of the LGBT community and the discrimination within it. I'm Ariana. And I'm Caleb. And, and we bring you Life in the, the LGBT community. community. What does it mean to me? I mean, that's just who I am. I mean, if you're labeling it bisexual since I was a very young age. I think I figured it out. The first person I was ever attracted to was a girl. And I didn't understand like what any of that meant necessarily. It um but it was it was very prevalent and it was something that was just there and I knew it was there and I am an incredibly headstrong person so I just refused to ever be weird about it. It was just who I was. Being an ally means to me um standing up for other people even though they might identify as something different than me. What it means to me is, is letting people accept who they is and um, it's like be proud of who you are. Some strides definitely in the right direction as far as um, the countercultural groups all com coming together and blanketing themselves under, un under one sign like LGBTQ community. It's come really far in the past 20 years because um, almost recently gay people were allowed to be married and stuff like that and that what didn't happen like almost 10 years ago and that was pretty much shunned upon. Well it's been a lot. It gone real far during the past um, years. I've been noticing it. Um, oh, over the years I've been alive. Because over the time, it's it got, uh, it increased it, and, and it's like a lot of people coming out, uh, a lot of people are um, fighting on what they believe in, what is right, to they want to, uh, to like, on making people accept who they is. I mean, there's, there's just a lot of progress that still has to be made. It's come a long way. It's not as divided the click in the 90s, I remember lesbian groups being their group, bisexual groups being their group, gay, mainly gay white men having their group. And I don't feel like it's as greatly as divided as it once was, but there's still a lot of progress to be done. Um, I do think we still have more work to do because people are still, like, there's still discrimination upon the LGBT community because, like, people put their own beliefs before the feelings of others. The only thing I think we should do is like, just like, um, just follow your own way. If you don't agree with it, do you do your thing. If you don't, if you do agree with it, do you, do your thing. And um, and just like, just, just follow your own path on what you believe in this or not. Now, despite the remarkable progress that on gaining the rights and respect the LGBT community deserves, there is still some discrimination outside the community and surprisingly, even within it. Especially discrimination towards those who identify as non-binary gender spectrum. Wait, what is a non-binary gender spectrum? I'm glad you asked, Mariana. Gender is what you identify as, as in your mind, what you feel you are, while sex is your biological sex or the parts that you were born with. These parts can either be the same or different from your gender. If they are the same, you are known as cisgender, or where both your identity and your biological sex are the same. On the other hand, if they are opposite from each other, you are known as transgender, 
or where you are have body parts of a male, but you identify as a female, or you have body parts of a female, but you identify as a male. Now there is a lot of genders in between the traditional male and female genders. For example, a demigirl is someone who partially identifies as a woman, but not wholly. Another example of a non-binary gender or a gender that is outside of the traditional male and female genders and known as genderless or genderqueer. Well, now that makes more sense. And you know, I've heard a lot about people who have identified as genderqueer or bigender and are accused of saying that their identity isn't real, that they have to be one or the other. You're right. That is true. Although, it's important not to confuse gender identity with sexual orientation because even bisexuals face a similar situation they, that they have to pick on one or the other and they, have, and they are merely curious. But that's a different topic altogether. discrimination on social media and on the news on people talking about uh, a certain person because they claim who they what they is they probably saying it's not right or some people are saying it is right and whatever they putting religious and anything like that like it's a part it's a uh, certain it's, it's like uh, there's reasons for discrimination like that so I've seen it so far I haven't but I know people who have and like in school and stuff and when you're bisexual, yeah. I've lost friends over it. I've had family members who don't want me around their children. Um, the other thing that I didn't mention before when you asked me that, though, it's like it, it, there's a level that happens interacting, especially like I find when I interact with homose or uh, heterosexual men, where, yeah, like it, be it becomes like this like topic of conversation that doesn't necessarily need to be talked about as much as they want to because then you're a fantasy. Well, yeah, I'm aware of it because, like, uh, I've been around people who've been like that and I've been seeing on social media and a lot of people and really religious people who, uh, who really do things like that. Um, yes. Recently I learned about that. Discrimination in and of itself will always happen anytime anybody steps outside of the lines that we're supposed to cut that society tells us that we're supposed to color in that's always going to be the fact of the matter um, as far as what can happen to make it so that that doesn't happen any longer within this community i'm not quite sure i mean it people's open-mindedness in general in the world just has to change people have to start recognizing people as one race and not color, sexual orientation, what, how you identify in the world that you live in. Like, that's not, that's not the point. It's the character and quality of the human being, not those things. My, my advice on what I got to say on them is like, if you don't agree with anything like that, you should just like follow your own path. If you don't, you got like you should think like it should have nothing to do with you and whatever you think and just like like keep your mind to yourself. Like don't like don't put yourself into that situation or let's cause more problems for everybody. I believe that just because you don't understand or you don't know about a certain thing doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. I believe you should put yourself in their shoes because if someone feels something it's true it's their feelings and regardless of how you feel about it you should put yourself in their shoes and yeah um well i mean that uh, yeah open open your mind like that's not your decision that's not your life to lead like people like to sit around and judge everybody because it makes them feel better I mean, I think Baldwin said it best. It's like, it, if people have to say, if people, I'm, and I'm paraphrasing, basically it's like if people are scared and racism and homophobia and all of these other phobias exist because 
if you have to get over it and you actually have to look at the human race and the things that we've done to one another, all you're left to deal with is pain. People are scared of that. People don't want to deal with that. So it's way easier to judge somebody and make them feel bad because it makes you feel good. It's just simpler. It's easier to wrap your head around sitting down and trying to figure out like why somebody says this or why somebody does that is a hard thing to do. And especially if you don't agree with it. If for whatever reason, if it's for religious reasons or your own personal beliefs, opening your mind up to other people and listening, it's a hard thing to do. But that's what has to happen. That's what I would say. Stop putting your finger on it. Like Stop trying to label it. Thank you, Chicago, for taking this time to watch this program. And please consider others' feelings when it comes to their gender identity, even if they're non-binary. We're all still people. I'm Caleb. And I'm Mariana. And, and this, this was, was Hardcover, Hardcover News. News.